Your Coast Social Network is on the air where we talk to your friends and neighbors in Michigan's Great Southwest, courtesy of United Federal Credit Union. In the studio this morning, we are uh, talking about the documentary film Mustang Magic When Every Friday Night Mattered. Executive producer Mark Benke is in the studio along with Kevin Weed, another producer on the project this morning. This is a project somewhat near and dear to my heart as well because I'm an, I'm an alumni member of River Valley High School in Three Oaks, which is uh, where part of the story takes place, but it's it's more than just that. It's more of a almost a Hoosiers type story. Tell us about Mustang Magic, Mark. Well, Zach, first of all, thanks for having me in today. Um, Mustang Magic is a story about small school sports, in this case, small school basketball, but really how communities form their identity through their sports teams. And and we see that, you know, you can go back from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. We focus on a two-year period in the 80s, but really, in general, this is not um, a story that's unique just to Three Oaks or River Valley. I mean, it it happened in so many different boroughs and communities that um, it it relates very well. And I think that, uh, you know, it's been two years and we worked really hard on this film and then... You know, I don't know, 13 days, 12 days, wow. we're about ready to show it. So we're getting close. And we'll talk about that coming up in just a second. Where'd you come up with this idea that this this needed to happen, this needed to be done and showcased? In 2006, I was a, uh, just a producer of a documentary called 84, which chronicled Hamilton High School's 1984 Class C State Championship. And I remember during the process thinking, this is a good story, but I have another good story that, that we could tell. Uh, we premiered in 2007, and then I think we all went our own ways. I got into video production, teaching it, taking over uh, the class at Hamilton High School, and it was just always something that was in the back burner. And then about two and a half years ago, I was seeing high school basketball without great crowd support, yeah. and the followings were bad. And I thought, you know what? If I'm going to tell this story and it's going to have a societal impact, it's probably now that I need to start that movement. Um, and we did, and. You know, uh, recruited people to be on a creative team to sort of be the core group. And uh, and Kevin, who's sitting to my right, he's one of them. But um, it just took off from there. And we got interview schedules, production schedules, and companies in Los Angeles, Manhattan, Chicago helping us out. And it's been a wild ride. Yeah, it uh, sure. certainly looks that way. And we'll talk about the premiere, the big premiere that will be happening of this documentary here locally in just a little bit. But, Kevin, your involvement in here as we were talking off mic a little bit is that you're not even from the area. You know, you didn't go to River Valley. You have, you know, you barely had any concept of any of this, but it's such a great universal story, as Mark said, that kind of encompasses everything that always, has, you know, happens all across high schools, all across the United States with, with basketball programs and things, and it just kind of hits you near and dear to your heart. Is that part of the reason you got involved in this project? Well, yeah, and Mark and I, uh, you know, when we did 84, uh, you know, several years ago, I grew up going to the state finals every year. I had a, a friend friend of mine, uh, 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 Big Daryl Adamski, my, my best friend's dad, used to take us every year to the state finals. And so I grew up watching great basketball here in Michigan. And then uh, Mark and I worked together uh, at Hamilton. And uh, when we made 84, it was great, but it was a big process. So when he approached me about doing this, I was hesitant because I knew how much work it was. And uh, But we, he's been great at uh, planning it out. It's been a two-year process, uh, and uh, we, we're excited about it. But this story specifically is is great because uh you know coach jerry schaefer is one of those iconic coaches who um even though i never knew him as a coach i've known him as coach you know in the after uh you know after his career was over he he, it's it's obvious from the players that we've interviewed how much respect they had for him and what a difference he made in their lives and i think there's coaches you know there's not a lot of coaches like that who 30 years later think about but there are coaches who made a difference in people's lives and and coach schaefer did things the right way and to me, he's the hero of the story. It's the 30-year run of River Valley basketball under his tenure. Uh, yeah, it focuses on a couple of specific seasons, but um, so many references are made to to the to the, pic, the the big picture and the Lakeland Conference because back in that time in the 70s and 80s, you're talking about one of the toughest conferences in the state. So people who are not just from River Valley, but in this area, whether it's St. Joe, Bridgman, you know, Coloma, uh, Berrien Springs, you know, some of these other programs are also talked about because that's part of the tapestry of the story. We're 
telling. And like Mark said, the high school basketball, how it has changed. You know, this these were teams where when Coach Schaefer's teams were, you know, 12 and 8, they still had unbelievable crowds. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, nowadays, if if you don't go 18 and 2 or 19 and 1 or something, you, you might not have those crowds because there's, you know, because of the difference in, uh, you know, social media and your choices for kids. You know, not everybody's going to the game. They can, they can hear what happened from their friend who tweets it to them. Whereas there, you had to be there that night to experience it, right next to your neighbor who you were sitting next to and crowding to get in. And that was what it was like from everything I've known. And not being from River Valley, this is a story that I think anybody can relate to. Um, and, and like you you mentioned, the, you know, it's a different story than Hoosiers, but it has that similarity of the whole town rallying around a team, which, which is very appealing to me as a storyteller. I remember coming uh, from Indiana uh, when I moved to Three Oaks when I was about 12, and I had met Mr. Schaefer, Jerry Schaefer, uh, when he was maybe doing some substituting in a class somewhere. And I remember everybody around me going, you better respect him. That's the Coach Schaefer. And I'm going, what, what is that supposed to be? I figured it out after about a year. Once absolutely. Everybody, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's a big deal, a very big story, and it's uh, very relatable to uh, pretty much anybody here within Michigan's Great Southwest. Now, this has got a big screen premiere going on at LMC's Mendel Center main stage, I yep. understand? We're at the uh, Mendel Center main stage at Lake, on the campus of Lake Michigan College on Saturday, April 13th. Uh, premiere starts at 7 I think doors open at six, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. it uh, ticket sales have been going well. There are still tickets available, and uh, we're fired up. And if you're interested in coming and seeing this film, um, you, there are a couple different ways you can get tickets. You can call the Mendel Center box office at two six nine nine two seven one two two one, or you can just go on the Mendel Center website and actually pick the seats you want. Right on their interactive map and purchase them online as well. And that's lmcmainstage.org. I know this only because I say it enough after all the other shows that come in <laughs> from time and time again here. And it's definitely going to be a, a worthwhile uh, project to take a look at with a very big local connection and you say two plus years worth of work. Yeah. So finally uh, comes together. 25 there, so. months. And uh, you know what? I I probably, well, I will admit this. There, there hasn't been a day in the last 25 months that I haven't thought about it or worked on it. Wow. And, uh, we're getting to that point where people say, oh, I bet you got to be excited. And I am, but I'm also excited about sleeping again. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Seeing your family, right? Yes. <laughs> well, congratulations on all the hard work. I'm sure it'll pay off coming up here on the 13th. And again, lmcmainstage.org if you need more information, 927-1221, the box office phone number. And uh, congratulations, guys, on the accomplishment and hope the premiere goes well. Thanks. I appreciate yeah, thanks, it. Zach.